Hey guys, welcome back to Around the Bend. Today we're going to be taking a look at this Hornby Virgin Trains Pendolino. This Pendolino is in the Alstom livery. I got this for Christmas and it was a train set for about 120 quid. This is the motor car. It's very nice, it has directional headlights. I've DCC fitted this, it has pickups on every wheel, but unfortunately, because this train is so heavy with all the coaches, the motor needs help, so they've had to put traction tyres on it, which is not that great. This is the dummy car, it also has directional lighting and requires a DCC decoder, but also has pickups on every wheel. This is the Pantograph car in the set. It's no different to the regular coach apart from it has a Pantograph. And the standard version livery just has the windows. It doesn't have this big black box around the back of the around it. This is the standard coach. There's a the nameplate there, it says Alston Pendolino. Again the big black box at the end and the stripy doors. Then from another set I've got, which is just the standard Virgin Trains livery, I've actually got these two coaches which I also coupled to this one to make it a six car set even though they run in nine car sets in real life but unfortunately I don't have enough money to make a nine car set so this has the nameplate 101 Squadron this is the windows, it doesn't have a big black box around it because it's just the normal Virgin Trains livery same on the outside roof detail I'm not sure if these have interiors or not, but you can't really see in because the windows are just blacked out anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. This is the Pantograph version of that car. Again, very good. Nothing too exciting. Let's get it down on the track now and see how it performs. Here we are down on the track now. Let's see if it actually works. Yeah, it works. Let's see how good of a call it can do. Now, it doesn't really have to do that good of a call because it is a high speed train and won't really be crawling that much. But let's just try and slowly turn it up. To be fair, for a high speed train, that's pretty good. if we can make it any slower. No, it just stops. That's the slowest. That's alright though. Let's set off and see what else we have to run. So, on the inner line, I have, that I've reviewed in a previous video, Hornby's Great Western HST. Here comes Pendolino again. Let's get some shots of it running on the layout. Unfortunately I've been having some issues with my inner line so the HST won't be with us anymore. Hopefully I can try and fix the track on the next video. Here you can see the red tail lights at the back going through the tunnel. And here's the white headlights at the front. This model runs really well and smoothly at high speeds. Another thing that I forgot to mention is that this model banks around the corners like the real life counterpart. Let's see if we can catch it banking around the corner then. Oh, 
Unfortunately, Virgin Trains went bankrupt in 2017, so they have now been replaced by Avanti, which thankfully do still run the Pendolinos. That'll be it for today then guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.